Hi all, in uh, this video we would be uh, covering how to configure the Terraform remote uh, backend state. Basically whatever uh, deployment you are doing using Terraform, the state file will be stored into the remote backend. In this uh, particular video we would be covering uh, remote backend onto the Azure uh, cloud platform. So here we would uh, require a kind of uh, Azure CLI on your system. Then there would be Azure subscription that you will need. Once you have that, uh, you have to install it uh, on your system. Then you need to create a storage account, a storage account uh, key vault, a, a key vault key where it will store the, uh, uh, the key vault key will be stored in the Azure Key Vault and in the along with the storage account you will also need to create the storage container so I have mentioned all these steps I will not create it so we will straight away come on to the configuration file for the Terraform which will create the or which will rather configure the remote state back uh, so let's get started and uh, I will first of all show you like what has been created so far into the Azure portal then create it, uh, the storage account and the key vault using command line and also to or also uh, uh, the Azure portal. So let me show you. So this is the resource group which has been created. This is the storage account and in the storage account you are using uh, uh, the container. This one. This will contain your uh, state contain. This will uh, contain your the file okay and uh, there is a key vault which is also created uh, that you can also find I if you see this is a key vault uh, that is also created for the same so let's uh, get started and probably we gonna see how to configure it I will log into the server so this is a server where I have Terraform installed Azure CLI installed and if you see I have created each and everything using this particular command and I have a Terraform here as well. But before we run the Terraform in a plan and other commands, I will just show you how we have set it up. So this is uh, the deployment. Uh, this is a folder in which all the configuration files resides. This one is uh, the, these three are the keys which have been created and will be used by the virtual machine when it will be created and will be used for authentication okay. then this is uh, this one is vas.tf which will contain the variables so here we have used a variable uh, location uh, which would be called as var.location and here we have still used the default region as east us then whatever uh, the prefix will be used it will be test it will be used for uh, virtual machine naming convention and this is the SSH source address which we have mentioned as S3. Then it will also create a network into the same particular resource group. Uh, if you see, so this is a default. This is the same file that I am I used into the first video for the deployment of a virtual machine. Uh, then we come on to instance.tf. It is uh, using the same stuff, right? Uh, when we say same stuff, it would be uh, using uh, the variables from vas.tf and uh, the test hyphen vm would be created into the resource group which we selected. The resource group uh, that we selected, uh, we are using its mentioned into the main.tf. So we will be using the provider uh, of 1.37. Then. Uh, resource group name uh, sorry the resource group and uh, it's been set up as test in test only this particular vm would be deployed uh, in this particular resource group the test and in here right we have configured the backend so what is what it's doing is that this particular backend it would be into the terraform uh, block backend and here we would be supplying the provider uh, 
for the Azure and then we will specify the attributes that is Azure underscore resource to frame whatever we created we would be supplying it here so let's get started and uh, let's uh, try to initiate and uh, run it so if I see the folder this is the folder and this is what is in it nothing in it so let me go to the Terraform folder Let's run Terraform. So it's initializing the backend if you see here. So it now it's downloading the plugins. If I go in here, so it has configured the Azure uh, remote backend. So whatever Terraform file will be created will be created in there. If you see in here, it has created this directory and it contains uh, this particular folder in it. Okay. Set up on plan. it will say that it will create seven things right to add it will create network dot test will be created and it will create a virtual machine with the name demo dot instance it will create subnet a resource group dot test will be created a public ip would be assigned to it and create a network security group and all such things right and the network interface as well for the vm let's go ahead and uh, run it using the client So I will type yes and it will take some time and uh, after that I will pause the video for some time and I will return. Okay, so uh, it's just completed and if you see it has created seven resources. Okay, and if we go into the portal, uh, if you see into the containers, it has created a Terraform state container file. So if I go in here and what you will see is can download it and you can just check it out right. you can download it and you can just read it in the same way so if I download it onto say system okay. so I will just copy it so I will view it rather if you see everything you will find in here whatever TF state is there it's stored onto your remote backend which is Azure so this is about the video and uh, you can use the destroy to delete your infrastructure for your testing environment because it will then charge from Azure perspective.
Thank you for watching the video.